Let's go through the blood flow of the heart. Blood flow always starts on the right side of the heart. Now on your screen, it looks like I'm talking about the left, but it's flipped. I'm really talking about the right side of the heart. So just keep that in mind. So on the right side, your heart is dealing with deoxygenated blood. This means that your blood is really low in oxygen, but high in carbon dioxide. And the whole goal of the right side is to get this deoxygenated blood to the lungs so we can give it some oxygen and remove that carbon dioxide. So this deoxygenated blood is gonna flow into that right side through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. It's gonna go into the right atrium. The right atrium is the top chamber of the heart. Then it's gonna flow down through the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is one of two atrioventricular valves. Atrioventricular valves, they connect your top chamber, your atria, to your bottom chambers, your ventricles. Once it flows down through the tricuspid valve, it's going to go down into the right ventricle. The right ventricle is going to push the blood up through another valve, which is known as the pulmonic valve or the pulmonary valve. And this is one of two semilunar valves. And your semilunar valves connect your great vessels to the bottom chambers of your heart, your ventricles. So that blood flows up through there into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery is going to take this deoxygenated blood away from the heart because that's what arteries do. Take it away from the heart and send it to the lungs where your lungs are going to take that deoxygenated blood, remove that excessive carbon dioxide that you're going to exhale out and it's going to replenish it with oxygen. So that oxygen that you took in then it's going to send it through the pulmonary veins. The veins is going to take oxygenated blood back to the heart. So now we're on the left side of the heart. So the left side deals with oxygenated blood and its whole goal is to take this oxygenated blood and send it throughout your body to your tissues and your organs. So this oxygenated blood first, after it leaves the pulmonary veins, it's going to go into the left atrium, top chamber of the heart on the left side, down through the second atrioventricular valve known as the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve. It's gonna flow down through this valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle is super strong and it's going to push it up through another valve which is our second semilunar valve known as the aortic valve. The aortic valve is going to shoot it up through the aorta and the aorta is now going to pump it all throughout your body. Now here are some memory tricks to help you remember this information. So we're talking about those atrioventricular valves, a so tricuspid and bicuspid valve. How can you figure out which one comes first? Okay, remember everything starts on the right side. So the tricuspid valve comes before the bicuspid valve. And remember the phrase, it's best to try before you buy. And if you're getting the atria and the ventricles confused, like which one's the top chamber and which one's the bottom chamber, remember that the letter A, which is for atria, always comes before the letter V in the alphabet. So those atria are always gonna be on top of those ventricles. And then remember the left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood that just left the lungs and those all start with L. And if you can't remember how many parts are on each side where blood flows, remember the number six. Blood flows through six parts on the right side and six parts through the left side. And then finally, if you're getting the location of the semilunar valves confused, just remember the name of the semilunar valve tells you what vessel they are near. For instance, the aortic valve is going to be near the aorta and that's just always gonna be on the left side because that's the big vessel that pumps all that oxygenated blood throughout your body. And the pulmonic valve, the pulmonary valve, is going to be near the pulmonary artery, which is on the right side of the heart. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more reviews, don't forget to access the link in the description below.